Yo, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel Ed Talks About. I'm Ed, as you know. Well, if you're new to the channel, welcome man. Push the subscribe button, push the like button if you like the video and all that. And I've just got up to 1300 subs. So let's try and get up to 1400. Just got to do it step by step and we'll get there, man. We'll get there. So yeah, today's video is stop buying these pony plastic grinders. Seriously, man. Do you know how many times in the last few months, right? I've gone and rolled one. Bang. Right, so that's filthy. This is my old, this is a really old one, look, as you can tell. I just got it out of the shed just to have two of them. But yeah, the other day, and I'm rolling one. And uh, I'm like, what's, what's going on here? What's going on, Butterfly? I'm like, this tastes that's it like plastic, like, you know them ones? I'm like, what is this? And my missus is like, I can smell that. Like, that don't smell great. I'm like, bruv. So I chopped it. Like, I chopped about that much off. Sparked it up again. Bang. It was fine. Yeah? So I, I can't waste all that, you know what I mean? So then I looked in the grinder. Let's have a look, see if you can see that. They, bruv, the little teeth come off. They look, all over these grinders, the tops, the little pyramid tops. They all knock off, bruv. Like, unless you're gonna go and buy one every week. I know they're only cheap, they're $1.99, but what's the point? Like, you go and buy it, they're like $1.99, yeah? So what, you have to buy one like every week or two weeks, yeah? So that's four pound a month. Why don't you just, over the course of the year, you might as well buy a good grinder. Because, bruv, I'm seeing it. And did you know what, the other day, me and my wife were talking to someone, her friend Lucy. And he's gone, uh, and I've gone, it's Nick's birthday, a bloke. You know Nick. And uh, I said, I just want to get him a little grinder or something. <coughs> She's gone, make sure it ain't one of them bloody plastic ones. And I'm like, thank you. She's got, I went, what, did you get plastic? She went, yeah. She went, the teeth break off and everything. She went, I had it last week. And I'm thinking, I don't know what it is. Maybe they're using a cheaper plastic or something lately, because this never used to do this when I was younger. And no, I'm not smoking PGR rock hard rocks and all that you know there's none of that so she's getting the same thing i'm sure some of you have had the same thing too so i'm like nah i've got i ain't got me grinder on it but anyway i've got a metal grinder and i had that to the side the other day because you know when it gets gunked up and all that and i just left it there and i went and bought one of these because i, I just needed one quick and then that happened I'm like, nah, bruv. So some people clean their grinders, they stick it in alcohol. Some people stick it in milk and drink the milk. Some people stick it in hot water, in the sauce, put it night and just turn it on, not full on, and then turn it off, Get the, keep the water warm, you know, and just keep mixing it and get a little scrubber, you know, like. And to be honest, I'm doing the water method. I ain't got no alcohol and I don't want to be wasting my milk. I mean, I could down the milk afterwards. I love milk, but warm milk that tastes a bit like herbs, it's not my cup of tea, but flat. and I wouldn't be. It wouldn't be good in a cup of tea either. Believe me, and I love my tea. Ever since I stopped drinking alcohol, I drink easily twenty cups of tea a day, and that is no joke. Easily twenty cups of tea a day. I've replaced alcohol with tea. You know, that's my vice. And you know what? If I have a coffee, mate, I'm bouncing off the walls, bruv, because I don't do no drugs and that anymore. You know what I mean, like. So yeah, what I'm trying to say is, is learn from my mistake. I was the donut that kept buying these and I've got a metal one there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm the donut. I was like, you know what? It got gunked up. I'll oh, grab us another one when you're out, babe. You know, like that type of thing. You know what I mean? Just grabbing it off the ease. But you know what? You end up wasting money because these things don't last. They last a couple of weeks. If you're using it on a regular daily basis as a medicinal user, you should not be using one of these. And also, if you're a medicinal user and you've got problems, you know oh, I'm always talking about the cactus grinder. And like I say, 30% discount, Psh, best ed, all that. It's in the comments, you know, in the, in the thing. Just click on the link, you're good. So yeah, that, that's an investment in my eyes. Like, it's, it's, it's an actual investment because I know it's a 30 quid or something like that. But think about it, how many of them do you go through, bruv, like, Easily, I'd go for a couple of weeks. Uh, uh, wow, well, one every couple of weeks. Get your words out, Ed. Because I'm telling you, if you look at the top of your 
pyramid little teeth, yeah, the shark teeth, there's gonna be some missing and you've already done that. You've already done that. So yeah, this is just a little video. Like I say, learn from my mistake. Don't be a dumbass and buy the stupid cheap stuff. Just get yourself a decent one. Like I say, I've got the metal grinder for me because <coughs> I ain't got the arthritis. But I fell off a scooter last year messing around. You know, I'm one of them kids' scooter. And this hand here, this, this, this sort of area here, it hurts, man. It actually hurts on the regular. I fell off and I done that, landed on my hand and done a rolling. You know, on ones like, I was in public, I've got it on video as well. <laughs> I don't want to post it yet, man. But anyway, um, yeah, so I've hurt my hand here. So it, literally, I reckon by Christmas when it's cold and ropey, you know them ones, this is going to hurt me and that cactus grinder is going to be, it's going to be good, the cactus cut, I should say. But even so, don't, you don't have to get that. Just get yourself a decent metal one and pay a little bit more for a decent one, yeah? Look at the reviews. Make sure it's made of certain metals. I can't remember off the top of my head. Ah, oh, the metals are doing my nothing. I had them there earlier, but anyway, someone in the comments will write and tell you what bad metals to avoid. And I'm sure, and respect for you if you do. And if I find it, if I can remember it, I'll uh, put it up, but you know, just pay a little bit more for the better grinder and you'll have a more experience and you'll have a better experience. See Nick. <laughs> also, I don't, I'm not a fan of this Keith, the Keith catcher, the, the little thing in the back. I am not a fan of that. I used to, I used to be all over it. Oh, bruv, look, I filled it right up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you, you, you press it and you make a little worm and you put it in the grass. Do you know them ones, right? But do you know when you think about it, like the older I've got, the more I've realized I shouldn't be using that. I'm just taking it away from what I want. So if your bud says, I don't know, 22% and you grind up a G, you should be getting 22%, all right? If you grind up that G and then some of it falls through, are you now dropping it down to what? 20, 18s? I mean, all right, it's gonna do the job, but it's not exactly what it says on the tin. It's not doing a ROM seal, bruv, is it? You know what I mean? You're taking some of it away. You're watering it down, bruv. But anyway, don't like Keith catchers, don't like plastic grinders, invest in a decent grinder. I, I'll get mine, mine's a metal one. And I, I can't get mine, can I? I'm washing it. What a donut, I just told you that, didn't I? I just went and looked for it. But anyway. What a donut, I can't believe I was washing it right at the time when I was doing the video, what an idiot. So yeah, man, what do you think? Do you think we should just scrap it? They're bad for the environment anyway, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, at least raw has a uh, plant plastic, even though plant plastic is still plastic. It just, it still takes a while to biodegrade. But anyway, it, anyway, um, not as long as this, obviously. But yeah, biodegrading. I mean, if we're smashing through these on a regular, so what, you're buying 12, maybe 15 of these a year, because if you look at your teeth, you should be buying them at least once every fortnight, easily, if you're buying plastic ones. So what, 12 to 15 a year, depends how you're smashing it. All that plastic, imagine another 10 of that, on 10 of them. You're gonna be, that's just landfill. They ain't doing no, us as medical users should be thinking about the planet as well, I know I do, Ever since I started using, I, I, I think about more, that's like my third eye open and I just start thinking about animals and plastics and all that polystyrene and all that rubbish. You know, like going into the environment and burning and that, I don't know what it is, but like I say, I had a little ramble up anyway, but, um, so if no one's going to say it to you today, I'm going to say it to you, everyone. All right. I love you and I hope you have a blessed day. And enjoy the weather that we've got because Storm Nigel's coming next week, apparently. Oh, mate, do one, Nigel. Anyway, see you later.